What is he doing? Cleaning rod. Oh, okay. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another one. We're shooting some 28 gauge today. I have all three of them out here my Hatfield, semi automatic, my single shot, HR model 1905, small frame, and the Graw rifle. Yep, you heard me right. This thing used to be a rifle. It is now a 28 gauge shotgun, of course, black powder only. Takes a two and a half inch shell, all that good stuff. The bore measures 51 cal all the way down. It has no choke in it. The whole barrel is roughly a full choke diameter though, if that makes sense. It just has a uh, fixed front sight. Just a bead up there. Cool old gun. Alrighty guys, we've got here the grass rifle and what I'm gonna be shooting is 40 grains of his homemade black powder, um, a nitro card with an eighth inch fiber cushion wad, two 490 round balls, with a mile I wrap around them and the ITX buffer in and around them to buffer the load. We're at roughly 30 yards here. So let's see how this does. I ain't shot this old rifle in forever. When I say old, this thing's pretty old. So let's see what happens. Well. Did the plastic hull survive? Yeah, it's a little. That's the third time this hull has been fired. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, what we've got here is once again, 40 grains of uh, homemade black powder, a shell on the ground, but I'll continue to tell you what was in it. A nitro card, eighth inch fiber cushion wad, and 12 pellets of number two buck. We're gonna be running it through this grass rifle. Let's see what happens. A little stiff. Gun's kind of finicky. It's old, it has a right to be. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Did that hole survive? Yeah. Not gonna lie, guys, it's kind of hard to breathe right here. <coughs> a little bit of sulfur. All righty, guys, we've got one 490 over here and the other 490's over here. That's good and dandy, but this is what I was impressed with. This is the 12 pellets number two buck, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of 12. That's actually, that's a double. Yeah, that is right there. That is a double. All right, so we got all 12, and I mean, it's for what it is, guys, this thing is old, old, old. And it's just, it's straight 51 caliber. There's no taper in the choke whatsoever from here to the, you know, the chamber. Is 51 caliber. Yeah. It's full choke all the way. Guys, at the latest, this gun was made in uh, 1886. There was only like 3,000 of these things imported into the country. I think so, something like that. And yeah, I know, I need to clean the uh, rest of the Cosmoline out of it. And homemade stock. Looks like it, yeah. That's all right though. It still goes bang. Let's keep shooting it. Yeah, guys, I know this thing's just begging for brass holes, but right now all I have are plastic, two and a half inch. We have 40 grains of my powder, eighth inch nitro card, eighth inch of a uh, fiber, fiber cushion wad. wad. Fiber cushion wad, yeah. A mylar wrap, three quarter ounce of a uh, copper plated number six shot. That's all there is to this one. Josh said you gotta kinda aim a little bit low, so. Oh, smoky. Since that was bird shot, here's my buckshot load. It is 40 grains of my powder, eighth inch nitro card, eighth inch of fiber cushion, mylar wrap, 18 pellets of number four buck, no buffer. Let's get this tape off here real quick. That seemed to pattern pretty well. <laughs> Check it out. Both of the hauls survived, no problem whatsoever. 
All right, guys, the buckshot load actually patterned pretty darn good. Now, the uh, birdshot load did spread out a little bit. We have pretty much full coverage, but that's okay. You can use a plastic shot cup in here. Typically, what I do is cut the shot cup off a 28 gauge wad and set that over the fiber cushion in the uh, hull. Get you a little bit better pattern with your black powder loads, but that's not, you know, traditional. Some people don't like to do that, but I, I like doing it. Realized we forgot to count these, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16. I count 16 of 18 in roughly the same size pattern Josh got. Oh, peas bad. Easiest way to get rid of them. Alrighty guys, we've got here 28 gauge Hatfield semi-auto. The load is 14 grains of long shot. Uh, a nitro card for the 28 gauge. Uh, eighth inch fiber cushion wad. Or eighth inch nitro card. Three eighths fiber cushion wad with Milo wrap. 12 pellets of number two buck at 270 caliber. I think what that means. ITX buffer. We're at like 30 yards. Let's see what happens. Remington Express Hall. Remington Express Hall. No pressure signs. Looks great. Alrighty guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All 12 right here. I feel like that's a pretty good pattern. It is a pretty good pattern. Good job, Hatfield. You didn't let me down yet. This is how loose that is. You guys hear that in the background? That is a uh, racetrack about two miles down the road. Remington Express Hall, 13.5 grains of long shot, the HV28 Magnum wad. Um, Four pellets of 395, five aught buck, and ITX buffer. This is some big buckshot. The biggest size you can fit in 10 gauge. We are at 30 yards. Very good pattern. Where'd the hole go? Right there. I see it. Hole looks fine. For a 28 gauge, that had a little bit of recoil. No pressure signs. Let's go check out the pattern, guys. All right, guys, we got all four pellets. Three of them in a pretty good group right here. I'd say one of these two was the one that was outside the wad. The mylar wrap was uh, supposed to act as a shot cup to keep that fourth pellet, you know, with the rest of the group. But it looks like we have, I'd say that one's the flyer. But not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty guys, we are here at 30 yards. Got the little small frame 28 now. Let's shoot it once or twice to show it some love. The load is 15 of long shot with a eighth inch 28 gauge nitro card, then an eighth inch fiber cushion wad. The CB red shot cup, three pedal cut, I guess. Three then, pellets. Oh, three pellets, my bad. Uh, 395, five aught buck with ITX buffer. So this is essentially just three really big balls. I don't know, man, we'd be envious of that if it's a true statement. Let's see what happens though. That almost smelled like sage. Sage? Almost, I don't know, it's weird. Hall looks fine though. That's good. Yeah, it looks great. Well, the gun shoots kind of low, but one, two, you can see the third one tore through the paper roll. Yep. Three. There's all three. Shot way low though. That was not him. Alrighty guys, once again, Remington, um, Express Long Range Hall, Winchester Primer. We have 
15 grains of long shot, the CB Red Wad, Clay Buster Red Wad, with no shot cup, 10 pellets of 27 cal number two buck, Mylar wrap and ITX buffer. That's a creepy steer. That's a good pattern. Yep. All looks fine. Let's see how it patterned. All right, guys, we have what looks to be nine of 10. This one could possibly be a double. I'm not sure, but that's a pretty good pattern for 30 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, we think that one is a double because the hole could just be the tape there, but the hole seems bigger than the rest. But that's a pretty good pattern. Alrighty guys, we have here 17 grains of HS6. The It's a clone of the AA 28 wad. 14 pellets number four buck original buffer. At 30 yards and see how it does. His last pattern was really awesome. That one looks pretty well itself. Yeah. Hall looks awesome. Yep. Let's walk around here, check it out, gun's clear. Take your 28 gauge coyote hunting with that load, guys. Deer hunt with a number two buck or larger. All right, guys, these four right here, one, two, three, four, that's roughly where point of aim was, but let's see how many we've got out of 14. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I, I might have counted one twice, so there's 14. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, there's fifteen. We must have missed one from the last load. Or well, maybe I put fifteen. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we know for a fact there's at least fourteen there. We know for a fact it's a pretty good pattern too. Yeah. If you guys want a little bit tighter patterns than that, stick your mylar wrap in the in the wad. You hear that? In the background. That's pretty loud, and again, that racetrack is about two, two and a half miles away. All right, guys, we have a Winchester double A haul here, I'm using Hatfield again, but I didn't mention it. This is a full choke, and the little one has a full choke too. They're both 490. 14 grains of long shot Winchester primer, Clay Buster Red Wad, two 490 round balls, and uh, that's it. That's essentially the same thing I shot early, only no buffer. Yep. And no Mylar wrap. That far apart. Didn't quite eject that one. <sighs> no pressure signs at all on the hull. That one had an ugly crimp. It was tight going in the chamber if you guys saw that, but that's why it didn't come out. But wait till you see this pattern group. Ow. All right, guys, how about that? That's an inch and a half apart. Two 490 round balls going 1300 FPS. You could probably deer hunt with that at 40 yards, 50 maybe. Here's the wad, it's missing one of its pedals, but otherwise, looks fine. Solid load. Yep. Guys, I've got earplugs in, and it sounds like that old dirt car down there is gonna run me over kneeling down here. It's loud. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is loud. Sounds like they're right over here in this other bottom. But that is Wheeler Speedway, and it sounds like they've got the late models on the track. We have two three-inch shells left. Question is, will the Hatfield eat them? Normally, it hates three-inch loads. Alrighty, guys, I have here three-inch 28 gauge. This one is 23 grains of little gun, two 28 gauge nitro cards, at point one two five thousandths each, an eighth inch fiber cushion rod, mylar wrap, 16 pellets of number two buck, original buffer with a side of lettuce. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. We're at 30 yards. Let's see if the gun will cycle it or not. This thing really does not like three inch loads at all. It does have a three inch chamber though. Yes. Let's see what happens here though. That's a pretty good pattern. Go. See, what I, uh, see what we mean guys? These three inch loads, it always tears through the rim. And there's over nothing. It's overgassed bad. It's overgassed really bad. There's nothing you can do to stop that. 
it doesn't matter if you uh, shoot mild three inch loads through it, it's still gonna tear through the rim. That's why we pretty much only shoot clays with this gun. Alrighty guys, we've got out of the 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, 15 and 16, I don't know where the 16 ones went, but that's all right. Could be a double somewhere. You guys count them. Pause it, you count. Maybe you can find the 16th. But that's a pretty good pattern. Yep, one more left. One more left and get ready for the rim to be ripped through again. It's gonna happen. If you guys have a uh, three inch 28 gauge like the Benelli Super Black Eagle 3, the new one, uh, you will not have issues with three inch shells. That is a Hatfield only problem. Alrighty guys, brand new Prime Fiocchi. Nope, this is once fired. 22 grains of little gun, the HV28 Magnum wad. 20 pellets of number four buck and original buffer. Chambered that one. Hey, that one cycled. You can see where it tried to tear through the rim. Primer's gone. That also happens with this gun. And uh, that's why we don't like shooting three inch shells through it. But that probably would have cycled. All right, guys, that is a good one to end on. Probably have a 15 by 15 inch pattern here. That was uh, 20 pellets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All 20 of them right there. The HV28 Magnum wad seems to be really good. Darn good pattern. about you guys but i can't think of any factory 28 gauge buckshot offerings and uh, i tell you what all of those were um solid deer coyote fox whatever getters really good patterns out of these loads right here i'm really impressed with the uh, 490 round ball loads the double and triple i think we did a triple can't remember right now but that double i fired that was a really really good one had about that far of a spread on it you guys seen if you're using straight wall 28 gauge shells, like your Federals, Rios, Fioki, Shadots, all that good stuff, you can get 28 caliber in your uh, hauls. Now in the tapered hauls, like we, um, what we were using, the Winchester Double A's and those Express Long Range, STS, Nitro Gold, all that good stuff, 27 cal is the biggest you can get in there. And um, Mylar Wrap still fits. And uh, that Mylar Wrap is really seeming to provide some good patterns. Of course, number four buck is great in 20, uh, 28 gauge. Number three buck will work too. It's smaller than number two. Brennicky offers a factory 28 gauge slug, if you guys can find any of those. Uh, they put some out not too long ago, actually. Ballistic Products sells a 28 gauge thug slug. It's a 5 eighth ounce. You can push it over 1700 FPS with little gun. That's a pretty potent little slug. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you got any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. We will get back to you. If you want to, go check out the link in the description to our uh, Patreon, Rumble, and Instagram accounts. Patreon's as low as a dollar a month, and uh, every penny we get goes right back into the channel. But until next time, you guys take it easy. We will see you in the next one.